People are gaming their way through the coronavirus pandemic. That's according to a survey undertaken by cybersecurity company Bullguard. The survey revealed that 84% of gamers were spending more time playing video games during lockdown, with 24% even admitting to playing for an extra 5 hours or more per day. 18-year-old student Kanan Donaldson says he's been spending a lot more time playing games since his college closed due to coronavirus. It gives you something to do, especially when everywhere's like shut down. Can't go to college or anything. There's nowhere in town's open. So it's literally the only thing you can do besides walking or going out on your bike. Kanan says that through PlayStation, it's been easy to maintain contact with his friends during lockdown. It's easy on PlayStation because just have your friends online, you can join a party and that. And it's easy, you can stay in touch with anyone, really. Especially with Fortnite, like, I can get all my friends in on a party and uh, we can basically just play and it doesn't really get boring. Amongst the reasons given for playing video games more during lockdown, 60% of gamers admitted they were using video games to help block out the current global pandemic. This is the case for Bobby Donaldson, older brother of Kanan, who is a key worker in a supermarket. He says he's been playing video games more during lockdown to help forget the health risks he faces going into work. The time has definitely increased. Like, usually I'd spend probably just after working playing, but... Before work as well, it's nice to like put my mind at ease before I go out. Working in the supermarket, you come into close contact with several hundreds of people throughout the entire week, so you know, there's always like the risk factor there. Gaming has clearly been a distraction for many during lockdown, whilst at the same time allowing friends to keep in contact. With lockdown measures still in place in most parts of the world, players look set to continue gaming their way through the pandemic. Simon Hannafin Donaldson, The Breaker.